Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Matt here with you. And this our third video of our FSFO V6 tutorial series. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to edit your standard operating procedures, your flows, and your checklist. So with that, let's get right into it. First thing you want to do is fire up FSFO, click on the editor. Once the editor is up, let's go ahead and maximize it just so we can see the entire screen. Let's select the profile that we wish to edit. Then the, uh, the, the save profile. Right now we only, we have two in here cause I did a practice. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, select the Delta. Come over here and select which phase it is we want to, uh, to edit, which is uh, cockpit preparation in this example. This is the file name. Again, if you wanted to change this name to something else, uh, you could do so here. So let's say for example, you have the Phoenix A320, but you, you fly for Southwest and you fly for Delta and you wanted to create two different SOPs. Well, we already have the Delta one here. And then you could go ahead and create a Southwest one here as well. So you could choose that, that SOP on the flight planning page, which we'll show you a little later. All right, orient you to the screen over here on the left side. These are all the options that you have available to you for this specific profile. Moving over, uh, that's the system name. This is the event. So there are two events uh, for this system or for every system. There's flow and there's checklist. A flow are those things that are done automatically. And then the checklist are those items uh, that check to ensure that the system set during the flow are done so correctly. Normally a checklist just includes those critical systems. So a flow should always precede the checklist. The, per, the flow again is the, is the do a portion of the, of whatever the phase is. And then the checklist would be the verification section. If you think of it like that, uh, easy to do. If you just wanted to change this, uh, flow to a checklist, you just drop that down and put checklist. Moving over the response, these are all the options that you have for this specific system. And unlike version five, where we had like values of one through numeric values, and then you had to read what those numeric values represented, we now have nomenclatures that should make a lot of sense. So for example, eight or selectors is off nav or ATT. So um, if you notice down here in the eight or selectors, uh, it will be set to, uh, to nav uh, because that's what should happen during the, the pre-flight checklist. But these are all the responses available to you. INT, this means interactive. If it has yes, that means FSFO can read the system and then uh, act accordingly. If you see a no, that means FSFO cannot read the system. So in this situation, it would just be a call. Uh, so cabin crew, you would want this to be a checklist item. Uh, and then all your co-pilot would do would just say cabin crew. And then the response would be notified. I can, I know that because I can click on this and then coming down here, I can click play selection. Cabin crew notified. So you could do that for every one of them just to make sure that it sounds like you wanted to before you put it into the checklist. Speaking of that on the right hand side, this is the, the, the checklist or excuse me, the SOP as it currently exists. Again, notice your flows always precede your checklist items. Um, let's say in this example, uh, we wanted to, that would, that would be, uh, that would be not very, um, realistic. Uh, let's just say we wanted to add the, the auto brakes, uh, to the flow and we wanted to put it right after the, the boarding music. And we wanted those to be, um, for max. So we would go ahead and select it. We want it to be a flow and we want the, the co-pilot to set the auto brakes to max. And we want it to happen right after the boarding music. So we would highlight this and then we would click add and there, bam, there it is. So now the check, the co-pilot will perform or set the auto brakes to max right after, uh, right after he gets back from his, uh, walk around. All right. Let's say now my virtual airline or whatever my SOP doesn't have the auto brake setting there. All you have to do is come over here and click X and it removes whatever, whatever that is, or whatever this corresponding checklist, it would remove it. Uh, you can go through every single phase and go ahead and set it up to however it is, uh, that you want. Once you're done, um, uh, editing all your phases, don't forget to hit the save profile. I actually saved the profile, uh, before I change, uh, phases. So once I'm through the uh, cockpit preparation, I've changed all the phases. Uh, then I go ahead and save it. So that's how you can edit a, a SOP, if you will, um, from the GUI. 
let's go ahead now and talk about some advanced, uh, an advanced way to edit your uh, checklist or your sum. So what I'll do is I'll take that out of maximize. I'm going to select this button right here, print flow and checklist options. What this does is it gives you a step-by-step -step kind of tutorial on how uh, to um, uh, do this manually. So if you come over here, uh, let's go to settings and scroll down until you see uh, open user data folder. Click on that. And then when you open the user data folder, what this will do is it will bring up the folder where FSFO houses all of its user specific data so it doesn't override it. Uh, if you come and look in here, you see flows and checklist folder. You can click on that. This is your profiles, all the profiles. And then if you click on this, this is all the SOPs that you have for this specific profile. If you wanted to edit, edit these manually, all you have to do is come into this, open this up, and then here you go. And this document right here that we had just opened up previously explains what all this means. You can see here uh, structure uh, is the phase. So you can see here the phase is one. That means if you look at here, that means it's the pre-flight or the cockpit preparation. The type, again, that's one. If you come down here and you look, one means it's a flow or a checklist. So he is setting the wipers to off during the cockpit preparation flow. Uh, over here is the system. Again, uh, this is the system. This will be the smoking uh, signs. If you come down here, these are all the systems listed for this specific aircraft. So all you would, and, and by the way, under them is the uh, available responses to you for this system. So for example, if you come down here and you look at engines, uh, you could use engines and then you could put off, on, or start or stop. Uh, you wouldn't obviously put your engines on during the, uh, <laughs> the cockpit uh, preparation. But a good example, I think a better example would be, and it's kind of already here. You can see if you wanted a GS or a Jetway Connect, you just paste that, paste this here. And I don't want to use my Microsoft Flight Simulator. I want to use GSX. So you, then you would just take that response and paste it here, and then you could save it. But you can look at every single one of these systems and edit your uh, checklist manually if you did want to use the GUI. Once you get used to it, it's really, really uh, easy to, uh, to edit uh, using the manual mode. And you really can't screw anything up because once you select the, the checklist, the, the FSFO is going to do a validation just to make sure that you've done everything correctly. Again, this explains it in detail. One thing I want to note is uh, there are some set commands, if you will, for available for responses. Uh, those set, those, um, they're, they're tied to something. And this explains uh, everything, uh, what they're tied to. So for example, I just saw one up here. If you look at here, cockpit lights, uh, well, cockpit lights is right here. So if you have it as set and not as on or off, uh, what FSFO, what your co-pilot will do is he will only turn them on at night, dusk or dawn. Uh, any other time he will turn them off. Uh, same if you look at uh, uh, if you look at altitude, altitude is down here too. So you can see it's set at set. That means the co-pilot is going to set the altitude to either the initial altitude or the planned altitude that you set on the FSFO performance screen. So again, uh, set they they are tied to the environment, if you will. And this document explains it all. Um, so if you have any questions, please let us know. But again, everything should be here for you to do. One thing I want you to uh, please take note of is up here, you'll see a user um, option. What this does is it gives you um, an option to add your own uh, checklist in. Let's say you wanted to add a secure checklist. Uh, you just type in secure here, and then you would scroll down to here. And then after um, the last value, you would just take, uh, you would just take this, for example, and you would type uh, 14 uh, and then two, and then that's it. So this means that this right here, uh, again, we talked about uh, two means it's a checklist and then altitude is the system and the read back. So if you called uh, for this checklist, uh, or excuse me, uh, for secure flow or secure checklist, your co-pilot would then call altitude and then he would read back the current altitude. Now, you could put whatever it is you want in here. It's up to you. If you wanted to make a single engine taxi, all you have to do is come down here, look at the systems that you need and populate this with 14. 
So I know this can get a little complicated, but uh, once you get used to it, get the hang of it, it's fairly easy. So this one corresponds to 14. And then if you want it single engine, um, you name it whatever you want, single engine, uh, then you would come down here and after 14, this would be 15. So, and then so forth, 16. Right now, I only allow for three, but if you want more, we can make we can make as many as you want. It's entirely up to you. So to show that, what we do is come back here and then we can save it. And then if we go back into our editor, um, where'd that go? Come over here, come back into our editor. And then we select that aircraft. I think we were using the Phoenix and I think it was the Delta. Uh, all of a sudden now we're gonna have, um, uh, oh, excuse me, no, it won't be there. Uh, my apologies. If you come to the SOPS page, once we select the right aircraft, right? And we select uh, Delta, and now we come to the SOPS page and you scroll this down, there it is, boom, single engine insecure. These are all the ones that you have created and that you can run. You can also call them by a voice. Uh, this one right here, for example, the first one that you have created, secure, this would be supplemental checklist one. So if you call supplemental checklist one, it's gonna run this secure checklist. If you call supplemental checklist two, it's gonna call this uh, checklist and flow. Again, or you could just select them right here for you, but that gives you an option to create whatever supplemental procedures you want outside of the main one. All right, so that is it. I know it can get a little complicated. Here to help um, whatever you guys need. Also, there's a there'll be a place if you do, let's say, create a Southwest airline, uh, actually, that's a bad example because Keith is creating one and we'll make available to you. And I know uh, Ray has uh, created several SOPs uh, for his virtual airlines. But if you create a, um, a SOP for like American Airlines, please let us know. Please share it with us so other users can, uh, can use that without going through the um, monotonous of creating their own SOPs. I'll admit it is not easy, but hopefully uh, a little easier than what we had before. With that, that's all I have for this tutorial video. Thank you as always, and I'll see you in the next one.